We said we'd be back, and here we are for season two of Anyone Can Play Guitar podcast. This is Anyone Can Play Guitar, the podcast for musicians and music lovers that takes you behind the scenes of the music industry. This week is brought to you in partnership with MGR Music. Ever wanted to learn an instrument, hone your skills, or pick up something completely new? You can get so far by yourself, however, professional guidance can make all the difference. With a network of tutors right across the UK, and rates starting from as little as £15 per hour, visit mgrmusic.com now to get started. Hello and welcome again to season two and here we are for a very quick introductory teaser episode with me, James, and him, Ben. Strong. Strong. So it's been over a year, James, since we last spoke on this podcast, Um, but the podcast hasn't got... That's your first, um, (laughs) editing chores already. We haven't been away, we have been getting guests. Oh, we have. Well, we have been from... not been on air. We haven't been on air, but we have... Exciting changes. Mm. We have more guests. We've been interviewing those guests. And we've been getting ready for this moment right now. Indeed. Indeed. So for all the guests that we've had, a big thank you already. I know it's been a little while sitting on these interviews. But it's fine. It's all for good reasons. And that is going to be what we're going to get into very shortly. But, James, one year, three months since the last episode. It's a long time. What have you been up to? Oh, I was going to ask you that question. I know, that's why I asked you it. <laughs> oh, oh, all sorts. Well, we're still doing this as um, you know, a, a hobby in our spare time, which is in part the reason why it's taken over a year to get to this uh, point. But um, yeah, what we've been doing, you've been eating pizza, no doubt. Yes, guaranteed. Without question. I don't know. All I'm thinking about now is the butter chicken I've just eaten, <laughs> which was very nice. Um, I haven't just been eating, though. Um, yes, of course. Bit of travel. Um, mm-hmm. Bit of watching football. Have as I travelled? I don't think I have. I don't know. I went to a, a festival, a very good festival, Blue Dot. You did. And this is actually a very important part of time to see this. I got to see Jarvis Cocker, and you still haven't. <laughs> yes, you did. So thank you, Emma Zillman from Blue Dot, uh, who will be on this oh, podcast segue. at some point. <laughs> I uh, texted her a little bit before Blue Dot and said, whoever booked Jarvis Cocker, I'll buy them a drink. She went, you'll be buying me a drink then. So Emma oh. Zillman, thank you for two reasons. One, for being a guest on this podcast, but also booking Jarvis Cocker. Yeah, because that's, um, I think it's about the third episode in season two uh, where we have Emma on uh, to talk about festivals. But I'll raise you a segue and give you a segue. <laughs> all the segues. But it's not just Emma. So one of the fundamental changes for this season is whilst we're... So Emma, um, not only does she set up Blue Dot, but she also runs Kendall Calling. Yeah. And she's talking about that side of putting a festival on. Mm -hmm. What piques the interest of someone who books the likes of Jarvis Cocker and others to play at festivals. Including bands that are maybe starting out only just a year old. Indeed. But it's not just her, it's also artists that we speak to as well and get their uh, input in terms of playing festivals as well. Yeah, so one of the things that has changed fundamentally of season two, the season's kind of in two halves. The first half is a different structure entirely. You'll be hearing a bit less from us and more from our guests. (laughs) Hey! (laughs) (laughs) The crowd go wild, (laughs) except for this episode, obviously. Um... (laughs) Yeah, so the structure itself, we are going to look at individual topics. So if you are in a band or a singer-songwriter or or whatever, and you think, what's all this songwriting about? What's all this gigging about? How do I put a tour on? All of those sort of things. Releasing your music, marketing, um, forming a band, Mm -hmm. playing live. The law. The law, Ben. Yeah. Never forget the law. (laughs) Really don't forget the law, because you can get stung. (laughs) Ooh, no one likes being stung. I'll tell you what has happened to me. Um, You met Sting. No, I didn't (laughs) meet Sting. That would have been good. Maybe we should try and get Sting on. I have, and I've spoke to his manager, but it just didn't work out when he was playing with Shaggy at Newcastle Academy. (laughs) Oh, oh. 
It just didn't work out. I don't want to catch Sting on the counter. What? (laughs) (laughs) What? (laughs) Yes! It wasn't me. (laughs) No. Oh, that was a good joke. I don't think I can beat that. Yes! Victory. Um, I've absolutely no idea what I was talking about. I think you were going to say you got stung by your wasp or bee. Oh, I did. Yes. Um, I love getting stung. Well, I don't. (laughs) But... Insects love biting me. Okay. As a random aside, you went to a Grand Prix. That's another thing you did. That's one of the many times that I got stung. Yeah. Yeah. I've Doesn't matter out where the insect is <laughs> in the world. It's looking for us. It'll looking have for a good bite. Yes. So another thing about this season, Ben. Can I quickly just mention first, though? It sounds like you're about it. The struc- So we've got those structural changes to the episode, but we're still releasing all interviews in whole. Just without the bits at the start and the end that we normally go through picking up the good bits. We're doing that in the individual structured yeah. episodes. You will still get the full interview. So not just snippets um, intermingled with snippets from other um, guests, but the full interview. So if you're a fan of The Killers, Ben. The Killers, you see it? Mm. And uh, I know them. You might have heard of them. Yeah. Um, so when the co-founder, Dave Kooning... Mm-hmm. is on the show you'll not just get the little snippets but you will hear the full interview yeah. or it could be Jim Atkins of Jimmy Eat World mm-hmm. another good guest yes and I would just like to say right now and I'll say it on the episode as well thank you Frank Turner for putting me in touch with Jim mm-hmm. yes previous guest so if you're new to the show why don't you check out all of season one yes with guests like Frank Turner. And lots of other very, <laughs> very good guests. But and, and it is the guests that make the show, let's be honest. They're providing the insight. They've been there. They've done it, whether they're on the musician side or the business side. <laughs> they've been there, seen it, done it, or currently doing it. And that's the whole point. Getting them on, sharing their insights, what they do, what they don't do, to help everyone who's uh, coming up through the ranks in the music business. Yes. And like I say, some of the guests we have are truly remarkable. Dave Coonan from The Killers. Jimmy Eat World, John Newman, the original Root Boy Neville Staple. Mm. Just in case I do that wrong again. <laughs> um, I don't remember what you referred to him as. Neville Staple, his name. But then he put me... Oh, right. <laughs> you missed the full title. Yes, I missed the full title. Uh, we also have We Are Scientists. Mm-hmm. They're f- Fun chaps. I I have I've enjoyed every episode. Every episode is my mm. favourite, but that was very fun because I've I love the uh, we are scientists. The we are scientists. I love we are scientists, but they're just very nice and funny. They they are. I, I mean, I like the artist interviews again, but I also still like the other side. Mm-hmm. Um, I liked it when you um, talked to Keith from... Kitchenware. Kitchenware K- Records. Keith Armstrong, yeah. Yeah, that was very good. I liked that uh, interview. I also enjoyed talking to the likes of Zach and Morris about releasing music and marketing. Very, very good uh, episodes. That was uh, good. And I did like the law episode. I learned a lot. Well, it's not my specialist subject. Though. No, we have friends in the law. Yeah. But, but it wasn't them. No, when it comes to music, you know, I was uh, it's definitely on the, the side of not really... I mean, it's not something we ever looked into in, in a lot of detail. We never really needed to. But uh, <laughs> yeah. good tips on what you might want to think about on day one versus stuff that can come later. Yeah. You, know? you just need to search any... but Well, not any band, but a lot of bands mainly Spandau Ballet, and just look at what not doing this thing at the start, how, how it can affect your band later on. But we'll get into more of that in more detail when we Absolutely. get to the, the low episode and the episodes with the guests that we spoke yeah. to for those episodes. And there was other ones about having an actual career in music that might not necessarily be being up there on stage, which is a nice link into uh, someone we've partnered with for this uh, a season. A partner? A partner indeed. Yes. Yes, so I spoke to Matthew from MGR Music um, some time ago, mm-hmm. um, and MGR, are a great sort of business, something Matthew's built from scratch. Mm-hmm. Um, he used to be a guitar teacher back mm-hmm. in the day, and was getting lots of bookings, 
Mm -hmm. He's obviously pretty good at what he was doing. So he got a friend to take some of the, the excess and surplus and then it grew and grew and then suddenly he had this network of guitar teachers and, and now essentially they've built it up over the years and you can go on to mgr.co.uk, put in your postcode and within your region you can find great uh, music teachers who are within a sort of trusted network. That yeah, that's the key can, part. Absolutely, and, and of good quality. That So whether it's guitar or maybe it's piano or all sorts of instruments, you can go on and there's a there's a network there to, uh, to learn music. So whether you're starting out and want to learn an instrument for the first time, maybe you're in a band and you're thinking, you know what, we've got guitars, you know, working on that, but uh, oh, we'd like a bit of keys. That would mm -hmm. be nice. Oh, yes. Yeah, but... Uh, Bit of that on the, the yeah. side or, or something else, so you, and you want to build out those skills and you know, great, great network. Then and they're they're coming up from the same place as we are. I was going to say, think, yeah, it's... which is which is what we really liked um, in terms of speaking to to Matthew, just you know, helping those that are that are out there. Um, so we'll put as ever links in the show notes. There'll be stuff on our website to to uh, push them, and and we'll be mentioning them throughout the, the episodes just to give them a plug and uh, and promote their great services. Mm -hmm. And while we're talking about structure changes, one thing that hasn't changed, we still always, will always have Charity of the Week or Good Cause of the Week. Yes, we will then. But we also have Quickfire Questions. Oh, 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 yes, we do. And what have I learned from Quickfire Questions? The first <laughs> one is not very quick at all. so quick. <laughs> well, the first one, yes, it's not. To be fair, I the was... The rest of them are. The rest of them are quickfire, but the last one, the first one is not. I wasn't sure when you first pitched it. And then I started listening to them. I was like, actually, this is quite a good little section. Um, mm. Albeit, yes, your first question is not quick. It's not quick, but man, I guess I'm thinking. Yeah, and some interesting answers. Yes, a lot of Bob Dylan. Mm. Uh, understandably. Yeah. We'll not tell you what the question is. <laughs> no, no, no. Bob Dylan. <laughs> Bob Dylan. <laughs> the question is, who is Robert Zimmerman? <laughs> Who's your favourite Zimmerman? <laughs> yeah. Remember, a great way to support the show is to go on iTunes or wherever you get your podcasts and give us a rating and a review. It really does make a massive difference for the show. Now, on with the episode. <laughs> Before we um, speak any more, here is a few examples, almost like a trailer of what you are to expect. Ooh, yes, a little few snippets. So, songwriting. Here's Stephen Page from The Bare Naked Ladies. Oh, I'm, I'm really ruthless with it. Although, yeah. sometimes, if, a, if some idea sticks around for a long period of time, I feel like that there was probably some value in it. And if it's a bit of touring you're after, here's Keith and Chris from We Are Scientists. You'd honestly probably be just be better off driving through the night and mm -hmm. <laughs> standing up awake outside of the next day's venue. <laughs> and then we've mentioned it already, Emma, talking about festivals. And really, as a booker, what I'm looking for is 300 people turned up to see us play last month. You know, I don't really mind about how many hits on Facebook you've got. So I don't know about you, James. I can't wait to get these out and ready and in people's ears. Indeed. The first episode will be coming next week. Yes. Songwriting. Going to stick to a Tuesday release date. We love a Tuesday. It worked well. It worked well. It Yes, it did. Um, Wednesday's very heavy on podcasts in my feed. Is that right? I'm not too sure why, so Tuesday's probably a good day. I've found some cropping up on the Monday. Yeah, Maybe Monday, bit. yeah, Monday. Which, you know, okay, not bad. But, uh, a few crop on the weekends, which is audacious. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Maybe wow. Desert Island Discs, which is... On a West Sunday. <laughs> but um but Tuesday Tuesday is good. So whether you're within any of the sixty nine different countries that have lift listened uh to the podcast so far, that still blows my mind a little bit then. I mean in some countries we've just had the odd listen to make up that sixty nine. Others we've got a lot of steady listeners, but mm -hmm. still it it just I think that's one of the great things. Music, the universal language, isn't it? Without a doubt. Helps that they can understand us, I guess. Um, yes. Which, again, might be another challenge. But <laughs> yeah. but also might suggest some of the lower numbers. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, but, yeah, 
I can't wait to see who tunes in for uh, for season two. Can we get above that? 69. Maybe. I bet we can. How many countries are there in the world, man? 164-ish. I didn't look up the answer okay. to the last <laughs> question. Oh, yeah. Coming up next week, <laughs> how many countries are there in the world? Ben checks his Google. Um, you know what? I bet it's more than 160-odd. I think so. Yeah, because you've got all the little islands and stuff. I'm going to go 223. I bet it's not. I bet it's closer to that, to be honest. I mean, well, I what's your go, final guess? Uh, 186. Right. I've got, a, I've got a feeling it's under 200. Right. We'll find out. Okay. I think we've probably waffled for long enough. Yes, we definitely have. But the good news is for the listeners who are still listening, this is probably the last of the waffle in this <laughs> format. But yes. some people have gone in touch and said they like the waffle. Well, so that's this, true. This is for them. This we, is for the hardcore. We don't want to remove waffle completely, but we no, no. really want to get the great content from our amazing guests yes. out there. And if you want to hear from John Newman or Dave Coonan or the Sheepdogs more than you want to hear from me and you, don't they? Let's be honest. That's a definite. And if you know anyone who's in a band or just into music, this is not just for people in bands. It's for anyone who's into music. Please let them know. Please get those downloads up. Shares, likes, subscriptions, they all help. You might not think they do, yeah. but they do. Even simple ratings and, and leaving a review wherever you get your podcast from makes a massive difference um, in terms of helping the show get more prominently displayed in, in the various um, places that people listen to and download their podcast from. So anything you can do in that space will be massive. So next week, as I've already said, Episode, this is episode zero, episode one, all 